He's the only president other than Herbert Hoover who's had lost more jobs than he had when he began. And the jobs went down and then they bounced back and he's taking credit for bounce back jobs. You can't do that. Today we're going to talk about bounce back jobs. In my last video regarding seven economic factors that impacted every American, I said Biden was better for jobs than Trump, which was true. But then the presidential debate happened and former President Trump coined the term bounce back jobs. And the comment section of my last video went crazy, including one person asking, are you the worst economist alive? So let's take that point back from Biden and revisit the topic. Nearly 22 million jobs were lost under Trump in March and April 2020 when the global economy cratered on account of the pandemic, pushing the unemployment rate up to 14.7%, which is by far the most sudden and largest decline since the government began tracking the data in 1939. The good news for Trump, though, is that the U.S. started regaining jobs immediately, adding more than 12 million jobs from May 2020 through December 2020, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. A lot of this recovery is due to Trump's moving quickly and signing the CARES Act, which was a $2.2 trillion economic stimulus bill that was signed on March 27, 2020. The recovery continued after Biden took office. In total, under Biden, 15.6 million jobs had been added. But what if we take out the bounce back jobs? The U.S. had gotten back to pre-pandemic levels of employment as of June 2022. So we'll focus only on those jobs Biden created after achieving pre-pandemic levels of employment. I just want to note that the term bounce back jobs implies that people were simply returning to their former positions, which isn't true. The pandemic dramatically reshaped the employment landscape. For one, a significant portion of the labor force did not return due to early retirement, death, long COVID, or caregiver responsibilities. When the pandemic was more under control and in-person activities could fully resume, industries such as hospitality, healthcare, and education faced massive worker shortages due to the Great Resignation. Since June 2022, when Biden fully reclaimed those bounce back jobs, the U.S. added nearly 7 million more jobs as of May 2024 and what's become the fifth largest period of employment expansion in U.S. history. Seven million jobs is a higher average than what former President Barack Obama achieved during his two terms. During Donald Trump's presidency before the pandemic, President Trump added 6.6 .6 million jobs to the U.S. economy, 400,000 less than Biden had added to date. And Biden still has six more months left in office. This begs the question of what would happen if the pandemic never happened would Trump have added more jobs than Biden? I guess we'll never know. 